side of it is a form of a uh, ocean vortex. The color shift is uh, the idea of, you know, as you go deeper into the water, you move from, you know, lighter colors to deeper, darker greens and blues. You know, it's an interactive piece, so on the inside you then see these trash accumulation, basically, that you see inside of a vortex. You spend some time, there's a lot of small details in there, so you have the opportunity to explore the piece and really start to understand how litter is impacting the world. I think it also speaks to the idea that individual actions do make a difference um, when it comes to litter prevention. Um, we have created a monumental sculpture out of 2,000 individual actions. It's a project that, uh, that came together between the College of Marine Science here in St. Petersburg at USF and Georgia State University in, in their arts department. Artists and scientists came together with the idea of how can we highlight the problem of marine debris, trash, washing from land into the ocean, and then being trapped in a vortex. So over the past year, um, we've engaged over 2,000 people in both coastal cleanup collection and community art workshops here in St. Pete. We've had some wonderful partners that have helped make all of this happen as quickly as it has. And so people have made pieces of art using both coastal cleanup debris and um, some recycled materials to create small pieces of art that we've then collaged in a form that looks very similar to what you would find in a vortex in, in the ocean or our waterways. So the vortex is symbolized by the structure and the trash being caught inside. And the inside if you look in, in the inside of the structure, there's fish and, and little creatures spinning around. What we hope is that people will see beauty in the art and then highlight how ugly trash can really be. Litter's a topic people have talked about for years, but maybe through art we could create a new dynamic and social engagement around that.